boy. Shout out to Brantino. We got to talk about the baddies now, y'all. Y'all ready? The baddies be baddying. Y'all, why this person show them uh, watching baddies while they on the freeway? You are liable to crash, okay? Why you watching toxic stuff like that on the damn road, okay? These people is crazy. Somebody said, baddies in traffic while a baddie is in traffic. What? What? The 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way, Corey, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. Okay. <sighs> beat your ass. You know? I'm going to beat your ass. That's on my baby's dad. <laughs> Y'all know that y'all know that's Antonio baby Ma, uh, 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 Antonio Brown baby Marda Antonio Brown baby Marda Okay That's Antonio Brown baby Marda Alright so uh be careful y'all if y'all watching something like if y'all watching anything on the damn road okay but watching reality tv like like that got your eyes glued to the damn screen uh oh you liable to go be in a, a, a fender bender okay you're gonna be a, in a fender bender it ain't never that serious watch the damn road goofy right right all right talking about uh baddies uh baddies in traffic while a baddie in traffic right to say what we want uh really, shut when you think about fuck it up. all right they, they, right they, they. to say what we want uh really, shut when you think about fuck it up. we just letting the baddies uh just we just letting that baddies word just just go by huh like like we just letting anybody use that just like we be letting anybody use thick you know what I'm saying? Thick is a specific, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people just be fat. Like, like just be honest, y'all. All right? A lot of people just be fat. I mean, let's just be, you know what I'm saying? We got people walking around looking like a, shaped like a damn suitcase. Talking about they thick. All right? Yeah, yeah, you, you thick, all right. That fupa is thick. Anyways, all right? Um, we got to talk about this, y'all. Why is a uh, big Gretch doing, um, y'all, when I tell you this is <clears throat> high level coonery, this is high level foolery. Um, and, and it's crazy how, um, uh, we be just letting people play in our face like this. Okay. All right. Why we be letting people uh, play in our face like this? It goes two ways. This big Gretsch chick is obviously what? She, she's obviously clear, right? <clears throat> she's a Karen, okay? She's a uh, she's a Becky, okay? Saying the N word, okay? And then she now she doing like commercials for like bundles and stuff, right? At a liquor store, something like that, right? With a whole, with a whole <clears throat> Middle Eastern or Indian or something like that, uh, store advertising to black women i'm not feeling this y'all seen this hey what's good my nigga got that 38 inch deep wave ginger of course we do baby come follow me what we got right here the 38 inch ginger okay hey what's good my nigga got that 38 inch deep wave ginger of course we do baby come follow me what we got right here the 38 inch ginger okay i don't like this y'all i'm sorry i i i i, I don't like this the 12 2015. yes okay um and uh have you been changed in any way for you uh based on what's in front of you no okay uh your honor at this time the state now moves to admit Chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> you are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. 
You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? Come on, man. That ain't cool. Okay? Why are they so obsessed with copying black? Right. It goes both ways. We got this, we got this dude with a business in the hood. You know that business is in the hood. Okay. You know he's selling to, uh, to black women. Let's just be honest. Okay. We know what the demographic is. All right. So we got two people that that ain't like us. They not like us. Okay. Like I'm I'm, I'm irritated with this, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was not feeling this. And they just they just kept keep letting her live. The first comment says, I'm with Roly. I don't give a F if she uh say the N-word or not. Hey, what's good, my nigga? Got that 38-inch deep wave ginger. Of course we do, baby. Come follow me. What we got right here, the 38-inch ginger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Unstable creatures, man. House full of women, huh? House full of sensitive ass females. Dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word for y'all. All right. Um, it's crazy, man. All right. Um, Gretchen be looking like a uh transformer. What between your thighs? I said what I said. I said what I said. Okay. She should be in birds doing this, man. And Natalie Nunn should be embarrassed for even giving this woman a platform, uh, uh, laughing, laughing in our women's face like this. Embarrassment when you was embarrassed in your relationship. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Right. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, Big Gretch, you fired. Sir, um, Mr. Copeland, um, is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. She's fired? Okay. Anyways, man, um, this is crazy, man. All right. This 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 is beyond coonery. Okay. If y'all don't think uh outside races can can't be coons, y'all crazy. All right. Anyways, we got J O uh spilling more tea on the reunion, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. We got J O spinning a uh, uh Spilling a tea when it comes to the reunion, okay? Remember, a lot of the cast members do not like Saucy Santana because he was reading them the entire show. Specifically, Anna Mac, Biggie, Tinka Bella, okay? And uh, Mariah Lynn, okay? So, J.O. spilled some tea. J.O. claims Anna Mac is mad at, Sa uh, mad at Saucy right because he said she need to catch the fade with kiva there we go because then she jump in remember she got a little lick yeah 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 all right all is fair in war right like i said the whole um cigarette bill body on a mat um on a a big mac um basically upset at saucy santana because he told you got to catch that fade with Big Kiva. All that talking you doing and all that, all that talking is enough. You already hit somebody, but you supposed to have been injured. That jaw's supposed to be injured. You got to catch that fade. I don't want to catch no fade. Let's talk about it. We love you, Saucy Santana. He was clocking out to you all motherfucking fuck with. Not a bitch. <laughs> Not a bitch. I don't give a about it. Like I said. And remember, J.O.'s not the only person to shout him out, saying that he was reading and he did a great job. J.O. has said it. Big Kiva has said it. Scotty has said it. Asian Doll has said it. Okay, quite a few people have said they respect how, you know, they said it, they can tell that he actually watched the show. He actually knows the tea. He actually knows the drama. They said Nene didn't, didn't know about nothing. She was just playing along to get along and stuff like that. They, they said Saucy Santana was, was a host, what was basically the people's host. Okay. Meaning that he know all of the drama, he know all of the tea, all of the backstabbing. So he he really throwing stuff in people's face, all right. Which I'm here for. I I, I can't wait for the reunion. The whole um cigarette bill body on a mat um on a a Big Mac um basically upset at Austin Santana because he told 
You got to catch that fade with Big Kiva. All that talking you doing, all that, all that talking is enough. You already hit somebody, but you supposed to have been injured. That jaw's supposed to be injured. You got to catch that fade. I don't want to catch no fade. Let's talk about it. We love you, Saucy Santana. He was clocking out to you all mother. Man. Um, so, yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, the cigarette built body. She called her Anna, Anna Big Mac. You said Nene just came for the check, right? Nene was just there for her funds, and that's it, and that's all. And was, said another cosplayer, Sassy Santana. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Um, But yeah, man, uh, the beef is beefing, y'all. The baddies is baddying. I can always appreciate a host who going to hold the cast members accountable and not been to uh, having favorites or being biased. Right. Right. Saucy Sardine. Y'all crazy, man. Put a helicopter in the chat. Y'all just be acting up. Y'all just be acting up in the chat, man. All right. But yeah. Baddies is baddie y'all. Okay. So remember, we talked about the whole situation that happened uh, with uh, Tommy Lee and um, Bobby Light. Remember, it stems from Tommy calling Bobby a crackhead, saying that he was doing substances, illegal substances with Chris Brown and Natalie Nunn. Right. And uh, apparently... You know, they got into it. And that's why Roley and Tommy Lee ended up fighting each other. Okay. They ended up fighting each other uh, because I guess Roley was defending Bobby Lights. I didn't even know they was friends. Okay. But some more tea has dropped, y'all. Right. Apparently, um, Roley snatched uh, Tommy Lee wig off. Right. So when they went backstage, Bobby Lights gave her her wig back. And he claims that, um, he claims that Tommy Lee punched him in the eye and made his eye bleed, busted his eye open. I said, oh, my Lord. Just, 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 uh, just violent. Okay. These baddies chicks is crazy, y'all. Like, just punch handsome Squidward all in his eye. All right. Punch zombie lights all in his eye. All right. Punch, uh, punch the mask all in his eye. All right. That's crazy, man. Y'all ready for this? Says Bobby Light says Tommy injured him on multiple occasions. Oh, my Lord. Just dropping the T. Let's go. Tommy did hit me. This is the scar. I was dripping blood down my face. I made a joke out of it. Okay. There's the eye. Busted. You supposed to be my friend. That's not your friend. Your friend out here calling you a dope fiend. That's not a friend. I'm sorry. Y'all y'all was probably just using together. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. Uh, that don't mean that's a friend. Okay. I'm going a, I'm to a pull an example. All right. I lost uh quite a few friends. Okay. Once I start living a sober life. I've never been... A drinker, really, honestly, ever, okay? But y'all know, you, you know, I'm from the Bay. I'm from Cali, man. You know, I used to dibble and, dan, uh, dibble and dabble in the ganja. You know, I used to, uh, what you would call maybe a, a pothead, okay? A uh, 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 Mary Jane connoisseur, if you will, okay? Um, Even to the point, y'all, I used to uh, work with High Times. I, you know, tell them a little bit of my business. You ever heard of High Times? You ever heard of High Times magazine? High Times Magazine is the number one, um, it's the number one, uh, Mary Jane, uh, magazine in the world. Um, yeah, y'all, I used to, I used to, I used to, uh, you know, I used to do a little work with, uh, with High Times, okay? Anyways, that's just a little tea, a little tea on grape tea. Um, but, you know, once I start living that sober life and I'm like, yeah, man, I'm cool off that, you know, you know, uh, I be, I, I'm sober minded, you know? Um, the best high in life is life. Okay. You can definitely get high on life y'all. Right. So, uh, I stopped hanging out with a lot of people. You start understanding like, oh wow, we was only cool because we, you know, we smoked together. That's all we did. You know, you know, and, uh, that's when you really know who your friends are. Okay. Um, once you start, you know, cutting certain things out of your life, you feel me? 
you might lose friends just because you're trying to get your life back together. You feel me? Um, it happened, you know, uh, you know, when you want to get out the streets, that's happened too. got out of that street life and stuff like that. Acting, acting a fool. You feel me? Uh, start getting my mind right. You start, you know what I mean? You ain't, you, you don't ain't got those friends no more. Cause they, they still want to dibble and dabble in the streets. You feel me? Um, it, it just, it goes with a lot of stuff when you want to lose weight. Okay. You might, your, your whole friend group might just be big, big backs, big back, big back. Big back, big back, and you might want to make that change. Like, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm on this fitness journey. That, that's my life now. Um, you feel me? And y'all might not really be cool like that because they don't want to. The things that's fun to you now is isn't fun to them. You fun to you might be like, hey, let's do this trail every uh, morning, y'all, throughout the week, ten o'clock. Let's meet up at the trail. That's what I do. Nah, you know, no, you know, that's the time where we go uh, eat our big back breakfast at the Waffle House. Nah, yeah, I cut all that out. You know, my thing, you, you might not hear from that person no more. Because they want to keep they big back, big back. Right? So, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. So, um, I, this is just allegedly, okay? This is just my thoughts. I think they were only cool because they was, you know, using together. You take that for what you will, okay? That's not friends. Y'all just uh, substance associates, okay? Y'all friends by proxy of y'all, you know, substance of choice, all right? By substance of choice, allegedly. And you wouldn't say the things you say to me and you wouldn't treat me the way you treat me every time you see me all because I might be with Natalie or... You feeling some type of way about me hanging. I already told y'all, and Natalie knows this, everybody knows this. When I'm with Natalie, we're not talking about Tommy. When I'm with Tommy, we're not talking about Natalie. I keep it mutual. If you know me, if you really know me personally, you know my spirit, you know my heart. Okay. For whatever reason, Tommy cannot believe that she has a real friend in me. Like she has trust issues or whatever the fuck the issue is. I don't know. The whole night at the reunion, she was acting weird to me, being weird, all uh, because I missed her call prior to that night. I did not see her call. So since we want to lay things out on the table, you want to say all these things on TikTok, let's say what really happened. Roly pounced on you. Your wig came the fuck off. And everybody wanted to take your wig and start making a joke out of it and wearing it and stuff. So I said, no, give me the wig. I said, give me her wig. Toe Production, give me your wig. And I was bringing it personally to you backstage discreetly when no one can even see that you was getting the wig so you could put it back on. As soon as I come even giving you the wig, you lash out and hit me. Why? Because you want 10 and you feeling some type of way. You should have motherfucking hit Roly is what you should have did. The same way you lashed out on me, you should have did that to Roly. This is not the first time. Tommy has cracked my tooth before. Okay? Tommy has hit me in front of major a major artist, two major artists that I'm friends with, and I won't even say their names at all to kick them out of the bullshit, but it was so embarrassing. Like, wilding out on me because you're drunk. Hit me, broke both of my earrings. It cost $800, and I don't give a fuck if it's not a lot of money to you. To me, that I like those earrings from Acne Studio. She be causing so much damage to me, and I never, ever say nothing. Ever. Never take it to the blogs, never take it to the streets, never take it to, I mean, to the internet, never take it to any, like, I just, I literally, I know that she has her own issues she de she's dealing with and she's not perfect, like anybody on this earth. But when, again, when you start slandering my name and when you start making up lies and when you calling me out my name and, and saying just horrible things about me and you're supposed to be my friend, that's flaws, fuck. Tommy is gorgeous as fuck. Tommy is a fashionista. Tommy got so much personality. Tommy got so much. She can cook. She got, she, she has a great loving side to her. But when she gets turned and whatever the fuck, if it's Chardonnay, whatever the fuck it is, it gets her to that point. It's just a whole nother Tommy. And I'm just, and I hate it. Yes, Tommy did hit me. This is the scar. I was dripping blood down my face. I made a joke out of it. Okay. There's the eye. Bust it. 
you're supposed to be my friend and you wouldn't say the things you say to me and you wouldn't treat me the way you treat me every time you see me all because I might be with Natalie or you. Remember, he said two famous friends that he won't name, but Tommy already said uh, uh, Chris Brown, allegedly, okay? Allegedly. But yeah, he said she be uh, putting, putting her hands on him. Okay, I'm like, dang, like that's not your real friend, bro. That's not your real friend. Okay, this is crazy. Um, but um, y'all know Tommy has responded. Of course, you know, duh, right? Y'all know Tommy had to respond. Okay, like that. That is obvious. Okay, right? Like y'all, y'all, y'all knew damn well she was gonna uh, respond. Okay. But he, uh, in in other words, he basically said that she's a uh, she's a toxic bottom feeder, and I'm not gonna lie, I can believe that. Like I don't know, I had to find my audience for real. Who is who is your audience? Speak <laughs> black toxic bottom feeders. You, you a hater? Yeah. Okay, I can believe it. So it says Tommy Lee says Bobby lights acts differently around her when he's with other people. I can believe that too. That's when you really find out who your friends are and stuff. I've been in situations like that, y'all. Now, here's the thing, though. I've been in situations like that younger. Okay? You shouldn't be going through stuff like that now. Okay? Because you live and you learn. Okay? Yes, I've been in situations, you know, back in the day, you know, during the clubbing days or, you know, college days, you know. You know what I mean? You're just mingling and stuff. And y'all only friends by for, for, certain, for certain circumstances. Y'all know, y'all know damn well. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some people had school friends. Remember school friends? Y'all were only cool at school. You know what I'm saying? That was your homie at school. Outside of school, y'all wasn't really like that. You might hang out with them outside of school and like, oh, okay, I can see why this is my school friend. <laughs> we ain't really cool like that. This is just somebody I click with at school or at work. There's people that you cool with at your job, but outside of the job. Nah, nah, let's just keep it. Let, let's keep this boundary up, okay? All right? So, like I said, their situation could just be they was cool, you feel me? And they substance uh, use, uh, allegedly, okay? Outside of that, they ain't really cool like that, okay? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You know, this attention seeking thing that everybody does when it's not about them and they want attention so, 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 so bad, they go through extreme measures. So let's get into it. Bobby has been an associate. I wouldn't call him a friend. Like the things that I've witnessed throughout the years, and shit like that, it don't matter how genuine you are to some people. They just who they are and they know how to do that fake shit and feel a way about you and still be in your face. Me, you're not going to get that. If I don't like you or if I don't feel your spirit, I don't feel your vibe, you won't catch me around you. That's just who I am. Right? I had a second house in Miami in his building or whatever. We live down the hall from each other. We cook, all of that. You know, been my family, my daughters, all that, all that. You get what I'm saying? So never would I think that you hold some type of jealousy or secret animosity towards me till I start seeing the sign. Now, every time we get around people, you're a whole nother person. It's getting weird. I'm the same person who, when we in a club, and we around my real good friends, they're not gay. They don't want that look. They don't want somebody bouncing around, being flamboyant in their section, which I thought was kind of mean. You get what I'm saying? I'm just like, this is, you get what I'm saying? Nigga, if you know you're not gay, I done got into it with some of my real friends. Like, if you know you're not gay, then what's the problem with him being here? Like, I'm getting into, like, disputes and conversations with my friends because I feel like um, they're being homophobic or they're being weird. You get what I'm saying? To my friend, and he's a cool guy. He's funny. He's a, you know what I'm saying? So that's, like, been my life with you, basically. The same type of person that you would call in Atlanta, your dog got sick, you needed a couple hundred dollars, Tommy, could you help me, Birkenstein and cry? Remember that, Patrick? <laughs> Remember Birkin was about to die? 
all types of shit you done called me for about money, this and that. So in the beginning, it'd be like a leech situation, which is cool. This is my brain, nothing to it. But since he's lost, um, you know, he's lost like who I really am. And so he's telling all of these, like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like you've been hanging out with people that didn't like me or still don't like me at the time. I didn't think nothing of it because you're not my good Judy like that. You're not my punk. You're not somebody that I vent to or I call when I'm having a real life situation. And we just don't have that. You're just somebody that's fun to party with sometimes. You get what I'm saying? You're fun to like go out or I'll see you out. And it's nothing else. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Come on. That. That's not a friend. That's an associate. Y'all associates. Y'all party together. You see, they proving my point, right? They proving my point, huh, y'all? They proving my point. You said she a whole nana. <laughs> yeah, grandma. Yeah, man. I gain nothing from being your friend. Nothing. Absolutely nothing but a fucking headache. Probably y'all live good. You know this. I've let you into my lifestyle several times. You drove my Ferrari, you flipped in my house for weeks when you was in LA and you have nobody. When those people wasn't your friends, you you stayed with me. You ate at my house. We cooked. All of this stuff. So where is this coming from? You don't got to be fake. All you got to do is not fuck with me. Because I don't buy friends and I don't care too much about that shit. I got a big ass family. It's like seven of us. Seven brothers and sisters. Bitch. It ain't nothing for me to bitch not be a bitch friend. Huh? Who? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You know, this attention seeking thing. How y'all feel? I think I believe both of them. You said all of them uh, are miserable and toxic uh, and is, right? Tommy says Bobby Lights was on one backstage, okay? So she, she, I guess she's trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, y'all? She's trying to um, validate her reasons for punching that man in the eye, okay? Uh, I don't think there's ever a good reason, okay? But then again, y'all, we're talking about baddies here. So I don't understand why they feel like it should be a professional environment. None of y'all is professional at all, okay? But let's hear her out. We're in the back. They call my name. But I'm still working out some different legalities or whatever about my contract and making sure, hey, 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 before I walk on here. A few more demands. Just a slight few. So he's calling, calling, and I'm, I'm hearing the weird he's saying, but I'm thinking, like, he's not talking about me. Cause I haven't seen Bobby. I called him. I seen he was here. He didn't answer. That was that. I did. I did call you one time. It's like you called me one time. What do you think this is? I gotta blow you up. Who the, who the fuck them gassed you into thinking that you're this mega? Like you're weird. So the first time of being weird, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, cool. Cause we was going out. So I was gonna invite him. You get what I'm saying? Out or whatever. You called me. I didn't answer. I called you back. You didn't answer. That was that. So this is my first time seeing you. So. As soon as you walk up to me, you say, you got all that stuff done to your face. You got fillers. You got like, mind you, I'm about to walk on a stage with a bunch of who don't like me already. You don't know who's who. You don't know what the they're going to try. You get what I'm saying? So it's just already, that's not my spirit in general. Like I wasn't in a bad mood. Nah, 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 nah. You know who was who. Stop acting slow. Stop acting slow. You know who was who. But let me remind y'all, bro. When school was over, when high school was done, they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world, didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Our whole lives in school, we were separated. We knew who were who. We knew, all right, they get the tripping, don't even pay them no mind, they special ed, you know what I'm saying? After high school, they let them out into society and we don't know, bro. So when somebody trying, you just remember, they probably them. That's probably them right there. Yeah, she trying to act slow, y'all. You know, yeah, you 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 know, I, I don't know who was who and this and the, nah, girl, you toxic as hell. Y'all all toxic. So you know that type of energy that's on the baddies reunion. Ain't no baddies uh show ever, let alone a damn reunion, ever peaceful. So what is you talking about? You know exactly what type of energy you gotta have, okay, to be on baddies. So I don't know why she playing dumb over here, especially at your big age, grandma. Okay, Granny Lee. It's not Tommy Lee, yo. It's Granny Lee. Remember, we got we got we got nicknames over here, y'all. 
We keep it original. So you know, you hear this anywhere else, they be watching Grape Tea. We the Granny Lee. All right. All right. What y'all what y'all call her? Nana? Nana Lee? All right. Granny Lee. Whatever y'all want to call her. Gra uh, Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Da -da -da. Travel down the road and back again. My heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. And it's ironic because these are the worst friends you can ever have. They're not friends to each other, y'all. All right? We're in the back. They call my name. But I'm still working out some different legalities or whatever about my contract and making sure a a a before I walk on here. A few more demands, just a slight few. So he's calling, calling, and I'm I'm hearing the weird he's saying, but I'm thinking like he's not talking about me because I haven't seen Bobby. I called him. I seen he was here. He didn't answer. That was that. I did I did call you one time. It's like you called me one time. What do you think this is? I gotta blow you up. What who the fuck done gassed you into thinking that you're this mega, like you're weird. So the first time of being weird, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, cool. Cause we was going out. So I was going to invite him. You get what I'm saying? Out or whatever. You call me, I answer, I call you back. You didn't answer. That was that. So this is my first time seeing you. So as soon as you walk up to me, you say, you got all that stuff done to your face. You got fillers. You got like, Mind you, I'm about to walk on a stage with a bunch of who don't like me already. You don't know who's who. You don't know what the they've been to try. You get what I'm saying? So it's just already that's not my spirit in general. Like I wasn't in a bad mood at all. Like we in a dressing room kicking shit, having fun. I got this. I, I was put the videos up and what type of mood I was in. You get what I'm saying? So me coming out there, it's cameras all around. All the cameras. Follow him or whatever from y'all already on set. Y'all already started. You're supposed to be out there being a hype man, but you make your way back here to, you get what I'm saying? Try to get underneath my skin. Not gonna happen. So, bomb. Um, I'm like, Bobby, I posted what I got. This is skincare. You knew, you knew. What type of, what, what, what type of friendship? Is, do this sound like a friend, y'all? This sound like more like enemies. You know? Yeah. Is this mean girls? What's going on, y'all? I'm 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 highly confused. Okay, y'all really don't like each other. Y'all never really liked each other. You need everything. You need to take notes. Get your pen and pad. Jot this shit down. You need every bit of it because underneath that makeup, I see every pore, and you look a mess. Ultimately, you get what I'm saying. I wouldn't have gave it to you like that if you didn't come at me crazy. But since I see you coming at me crazy, I see you high. You on your you on your one. So here's here's what it is. This is where we are. We're in the back. They call my name, but I'm still working out some different legalities or whatever about my contract and making sure a a a before I walk on here. A few more demands, just a slight few. So he's calling, calling, and I'm I'm hearing the weird he's saying, but I'm thinking like he's not talking about me because I haven't seen Bobby. I call. Man, anyways, bro, I, I, I'm tired of them. Um, Tommy and Bobby. Okay, so zombie and mommy, what y'all call it? Mommy Lee, that's funny. Mommy Lee, all right, mommy Lee, okay, mommy Lee and zombie lights, y'all some unstable creatures. The house full of women, cuz, house full of sensitive ass females dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word, I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't. I, I, hey, you're not the only one. OK, we're, we're we're all confused. OK. All right. Yeah. They were never friends. OK. So uh, let's keep it going, guys. All right. Let's keep it going. All right. These people were crazy and they was never friends. So I don't know what the hell they talking about. Uh, They, they both calm down off they damn high. All right. And uh, realizing that they never was friends or never liked each other in the damn first place. OK. All right.